Hey. Ah, hello. 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 How's it going? I'm fine. You rang me earlier. It was like a prank phone call. I didn't hear anything. That was that was mean. I'm sorry. It was it was Roy Ches. He's a really mean person. Yeah, yeah, he is. But okay, cool. Your production's on it. They got it working. Oh yeah. Okay. So you ready for Quake Live action? Yeah, sure. It's like riding a bike, right? Oh, yeah. Just with you rocket launchers attached to the front. But you'd know about that, wouldn't you, James DDK Bond? <laughs> I don't know what that's about. I, I guess it's because I'm wearing a, t a shirt and, and I'm this is actually Sturmy's uh, jacket. You know, I'm borrowing it for, for, uh, for the stream purposes. He allowed me to use it, which is very nice yeah. of him. Sturmy's a nice guy. Yeah, and that lady's jacket looks great on you, so that's good too. Um, is my mic quality okay? Because this is Skype, and I know I can turn into a robot sometimes. Um, so hopefully, your guys, I'm not ruining the stream quality. I think I think it's fine. I mean, uh, well, let's do this game, see how it goes. And I think uh, because at least for me, it's nice to at least be casting with someone. But the game's actually getting underway. Are you on the ser you are on the server, nice. Okay, yeah. so Three, Demon versus Guard two, for the semi-final. The last semi-final to decide who plays against Kula in the grand final. And off the beginning, we're on Guard as uh, Guard manages to make his way over to the to that plasma gun and that uh, red armor pickup. Manages to defend it against the uh, lightning gun attack of his opponent. Demon now at the shard area, getting caught off Guard completely there with that lightning gun just coming out and just decimating him. What a brilliant start on DM6. Yeah, that's what you want, and he's got a good amount of time as well to get back to the item. So, rocket launcher defense. This is a really typical weapon from Demon. Like, whenever he's on the defensive, I always see him pick up the rocket launcher uh, and try and do what he wants with that. But this map's very hard to just kind of get back into it, and I think Guard's just going to have a good run for two, three minutes. So, let's see how many frags he can get. And there is one more, just as you say that. And the mega pickup as well. So, he's like, oh no, he's. <laughs> Walking a bit past the mega pickup, it gets it finally, and they're trying to see if he can catch Demon here with that little uh, trick there and rocket jump up to get himself over to that red in time. Really nice move, I like that a lot. And there he is, ready and waiting to see if there's gonna be any attack. He's delaying it a bit, but actually, not long enough. Both items, the mega and the red, are gonna be spawning at very close uh, interval there. And God creeping around, jumping up the jump pad, trying to find Demon. Demon is nowhere to be seen. Oh, long range with the shotgun there from the yellow side of the map. And God, as you say, it's really um, in D on DM6 when you're in control. That's that's what it's all about. How how much how many frags you can get on the control. And God, will pick up this mega. Demon's doing the right thing. Like he got his armor up to like 70ish, and he's got a high position. And he walked into high position at rocket launcher when he knew it was safe. So if he picks up this yellow armor, which he does, he's almost got 100 armor, and he's got 15 rockets and high ground. So it actually becomes really difficult for God now to pick up the next frag. Um, that's a really good railgun shot, and actually that one railgun is just going to send Demon um, away. He's just going to have to leave. He can't contest anymore. So Guard's looking for another kill to make it 3-0. Demon shouldn't be here. He can get squatted. He needs to run. And the Mega's going to be such an easy pick up for Guard. He doesn't even care about it, but that rocket, defensively, is going to really knock the wits out of Guard as he manages to fall back onto the Mega at least. But Demon is managing to survive at least with like rockets like that. But Guard's hot on his heels there. Demon's in a horrible spot. And there comes the rail finish from Guard as he manages to take down Demon. And that's a 3-0 to zero, uh, start now for Guard. Still going strong with his control. And the rocket jump up. This could be good for Demon. He actually connects a lot of damage there, but not quite able to finish it off. That was almost a chance. Maybe a bit ambitious from Guard, but here is Demon now. Trapped behind this choke point. He's got that lightning gun to work with at least. But at the moment, Guard is in a good spot to take this Mega. Yeah. And he hasn't got to... I think rush. Guard's in a great spot. He's got Mega. Then he's going to take Yellow. And he's going to come back. And Demon is playing a risky game. What Demon's doing um, is just staying over by the red. He's willing to put up a frag to die, I think. And he should be. He needs... He, he can't get a clean frag. He needs to do the maximum amount of damage before he dies to get back in this game. So Demon... I think he wants to get back on that rocket launcher because he ha doesn't have one. Um, he's heading over to Railgun, which is very dangerous. But he just needs to hit some really good shots. And he can get the Railgun now. So it's just quite a big pickup for him. And that's an amazing shot from Guard. And that's wasted. That's 30 seconds of Demon doing nothing, essentially, from getting killed there. So, uh, yeah, Demon needs to make something happen by the five-minute mark. And he needs to give up another frag or two and do damage. But he's not doing any damage, so Guard's looks overly good so far for this game. Yeah, God is really, really a wonderful player on this map. Got some great performances, but look, Demon's going to get caught again, just, just repeatedly, just gets caught one after the other, and I think he's 
see a little chat bubble there. You know that's always a sign of frustration there as a Demon does manage to pick up the LG. Does some good damage there, but actually the Elgar was a much better position and better rocket rockets as well there as it connects with a full amount of damage onto Demon as Demon just goes back onto the Mega and he's just really in such a great position. Going to easily make his way over to the red in time. Demon cannot contest that. Demon, in fact actually at the uh, the shotgun area with one point of health and there's guard from above with the rail and that's going to be another one it's eight to zero now oh. and he's really got some demon, momentum demon got a really good spawn he got the rocket launcher um what we've seen demon should be outsmarting his opponent to do damage but actually guards outsmarting demon on the offense which is quite weird on the dm6 map because you should be able to play around your opponent enough um demon does hit a couple of good rockets which is pretty decent to his cause but I don't think he's going to be able to get on the yellow. He needs to pick up the shards or something in this situation. Um, guard's going to take the yellow. The shards aren't gone yet. He's just spotted the Demon. Demon needs to drop for the shards. There we go. And he hits a railgun. So that's quite good. Um, that's a start. He shouldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> Demon <laughs> needs to get high ground again. Right. No, he's going to get caught. Smart. Oh, God. He at least gets a rail off, but... The red is up and the, the mega is also up in quick succession, so that damage that he did is completely worthless. He traded how many frags for that? And of course, it, he loses so much time as well. And as you say, the five minute mark now, that's the halfway point, and he hasn't managed to actually turn things around. All of his attempts have just been completely um, messed up by Guard. And Guard with the rocket jump up, and there's a good rocket from Demon, but he's got no health to really survive. Yep, the and those, those, that damage doesn't matter one bit. As soon as you pick up red armor, it's completely nullified, knowing that your opponent only really has one weapon to play with, which is probably the lightning gun. Um, and Guard's last kill that he got, the one before, was really smart, just knowing that he was going to go up the jump pad. This is the best amount of damage Demon's done. He's finally got a kill. Um, off the spawn, Demon actually gets the better spawn, and he's going to be able to get the mega, and so... if that he does, he's actually got control of the map. So he's now got five, well, about four minutes, ten seconds to bring back these guys. And this, if it's an experienced player, if it's Rafa, it's impossible. If it's guard, it's, uh, I, it's, it should be guard's game to take. I, I definitely agree. It's looking really good for him. He, he's actually really hitting his stride this entire tournament, been really connecting and moving around very well, making some good decisions here and there. And there's Demon. Oh my god, he gets gets completely caught out of place. He didn't even see Guard coming, dropping down from the bridge. And Guard manages to get that one, gets onto the Mega. He's pretty low. He does the Rocket Jump escape there, which is an interesting uh, a choice. But one I do like. And he's going to get the rail as well. So he's, he's actually in a very vulnerable position right now. Although he has all the weapons and maybe he's in good position, but that's going to be a bad move. Putting himself through that choke point, he was going to pick that frag up, going to be able to get the red as well as a uh, guard manages though to pick up the LG. He's going to try and do some damage, and that's some really nice damage there with the LG to really change the options of Demon now as he's kind of tra trapped behind those choke points and guard really controlling this outer area where the mega spawns Demon. If he wants to get it, he's going to work his way in, but that's going to be impossible against that LG of guard. So guard gets that, and he's going to control the situation and really kill a lot of time now for Demon if Demon had any hope. At all in the yeah, I think like the the frag over the red armor was when it was GG. Demon's gonna go down here as well as Guard picks up its 12th frag of the game. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, this was Starcraft 2. Everyone would be like, type GG. It's not. Yeah. So yeah. Hopefully, we get to see something at the end of it. But all that really I want to see Demon do is step up his game a little bit because. Demon's one of these players that can hit shots. He can string together a good amount of rails, or he's quite fond of um, the rocket launcher as well, as far as I can uh, tell from some of his defensive play. But certainly is, he's just being outplayed. Like, Guard has got better positioning, he's got better movement, and he knows what Demon's doing. Like, Demon doesn't have any edge. He's not sneaky. Um, he doesn't throw in surprise, you know, Demon isn't doing any good surprise attacks. And Guard has just looked twice the player he has on this map, which is silly because, he, you know, Guard isn't necessarily twice as good as Demon. No, no. Um, so in our last two minutes of the match, we'll see if Demon can actually get some strings and frags going just to feel better about himself. Or just die hopelessly jumping yeah. into red armor. Demon's That's been good a he's been a player that lately has had phenomenal results. Like two weeks ago, in one of the Sunday Cups, he actually beat Strengths, then beat uh, uh, was it Strengths, Cypher, and Avic, I think. He just walked through all of them to win win that Sunday Cup, and he's showed some really good results lately. And as you said, as you said, God is you know not what you could 
consider twice the player demon and demon lately has been super strong so it'd be really weird to see him in a slumping at all at this stage but this is maybe the biggest defeat that i've seen demon uh, receive um in the in the last few weeks so yeah. maybe guys hitting some good form and it showed in his confidence as well like when he went and that frag away at red armor when he ran up the stairs um he wasn't running up the stairs confidently he was sneaking and that actually was a really dumb decision because it gave guard the position to land on red uh demon should have been confident enough just to go stand on the red armor and then take the fight um you know kind of man up um, but he was trying to sneak around he probably got put in that mindset just from getting stopped for the first five minutes of the game um, so, yeah he gets some some real good frags at the end. But I, I would like to see um, obviously what will happen next map, whatever it be. Who do you want to see uh, like end up in the finals between these two um, players? That's cooler. I, I think Guard would be actually yeah. uh, interesting. a suited choice um, in terms of a closer finals based off just this one game. Um, yeah, it's once, which is awesome, um, but you really need to have that kind of consistency to be a top player, and obviously consistency from different top players, like being out of position, Toxic always hitting frags, um, you know, Sturmy always being great with aim, you know, that, that, that was their consistency, Demon didn't bring anything to that game which made him look stronger at any point than Guard, so Guard you know, got the start 16-3, but for to beat someone that hard on on DM6, when you know it, it was quite a big beating. Um, yeah, God said he was lucky with spawns. So <laughs> who knows? But yeah, uh, well. I'm very curious to see the rest of the maps because I'd be really surprised if Demon was actually to lose this because I feel like he's he's really good lately. So we'll see how it goes. Furious Heights has been a map where he has performed phenomenally re in recent times like he's really really good here so this should be the real test to see what kind of skill level demons that he's ha he used to have this thing called the first map curse actually which he kind of broke recently but where he would always lose the first map of every single series <laughs> and that went on for quite a while even if he would win mo uh, most of those series so maybe that's making a bit of a return maybe uh, his mental game is still a little bit shaky but uh, we'll see i guess as we go into furious heights uh, do you have any any expectations going into this? <laughs> no, I'm just trying to, to enable respawn timers. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. I, I think this will be... Um, it should be a closer game, just because um, when obviously when you're ahead on DM6, it's hard to get weapons and get position. Um, this has a lot more um, ability for the player, the underdog, to kind of bring it even. And it's harder to chase people on this map than DM6. So we should have a closer game no matter what, but we'll see what happens off the spawns as Guard gets the red armor. Yeah, and um, as God gets the LG as well, gonna get those weapons. Oh my God, he gets the, what, what is right? What he gets the the mega as well, and the yellow's just up on the spot. And Demon with <laughs> just 35 points of armor and just a railgun. What is going on? How does that even happen? And God gonna have a fantastic start as far as stacks are concerned. But Demon's hitting those rails. Oh my God, you can really see you know, how he likes to play this map, just connecting all those rails. He's had so many moments where he just pulls up these clutch shots with the rail on this map in the past Sunday Cups, but here Demon is with the 21 points, 50 points of uh, armor, but Guard is very stacked. All those rails don't really mean too much at the moment for Demon, unless he can hit even more. And here is the Mega spawning this fight, the typical classic fight over this Mega, and they're going for the engagement LG onto LG, and Demon the switch onto the Mega, on, on the Mega with that rail gun, actually clinches that one and gets it. So the red does go off the spawn to Guard, but that was a really strange situation. Yeah, um, actually Demon should have lost that fight in my opinion um because he lost his advantage of having the railgun when guard picked it up um the only thing that demon has going for him right now is a uh, position um to try and keep like to do some damage onto guard before he comes into the mega room now this is really smart from guard instead of going for red armor he's gone straight into mega and he's looking to take demon out now and claim both the items demon's gonna drop down guard's got his number and he might even be able to take him off the mega no nope, won't be there in time i think the grenades were a little bit too dangerous to run through so demon played that really nicely on the defense but guard made a really good stab at going for mega even though he knew red was up so you can tell how confident guard is by trying to make those risky plays and they haven't backfired yet they you know he's down one frag but he looks he looks a little bit stronger right now and uh, Demon trying to contest with that triple, going to have to back off as God had that stuff under lock and key. 
as he moves his way over to the Mega. We've got Mega spawning next in about five seconds, and again, the classic situation with this fight over the Mega, and that's a great direct hit onto Gar. That's going to change everything. Demon can go in for the kill now as he tries to push his way on to Gar's position on that bridge, just skirting left and right, trying to make sure that Mega is safe to take before going for it. He does, in fact, get it, and Gar going on to this Red Armor gets it mid fight, but receives so much damage in the process. But it's still pretty even stack wise, and they're both so low. But Demon is the one with the rockets, as you were saying before, to actually clinch out that one, get that frag, and put himself 2 0 in the lead now. But here comes Gar, he's super aggressive off the spawn, and it pays off. He gets the frag, and actually, now it's uh, anyone's, uh, anyone's map as far as the items are concerned. Yeah, Gar's going to be waiting for the Mega. Um, there is obviously, sorry, waiting for yeah, the Mega. There is obviously Red Armor up soon. Uh, I think Demon should have gone for the other item there. Like, spamming rockets from a lower um, area is very risky. The good thing for Demon, though, he's now picked up the Red. Um, so we're very much at an even stacked game. So the next frag is, is going to be very tower who's going to take the lead. Guard already got a huge advantage using the LG. Oh my god, he oh, hits it with the shotgun. <laughs> Some of these frags, one point of health, yeah. and then shotguns him down. Ridiculous. And God now, jumping across from the pillars, just aggressing onto Demon. Just with machine gun and plasma, that's all he needs to do. He's, this guy does have some balls, really. One of the most ballsy players, for sure. God just does not care. He goes through now to attack onto this mega half area, but he's just a little bit too slow. Not going to catch Demon in time as he runs back towards the, the yellow and uh, the yellow Reynold area to pick that one up. And oh my god, there's a great rocket right, uh, straight from above there from Demon. Puts God in a world of hurt, but he himself is connecting with so much LG damage. And out comes the shotgun again, and it's good. 13 points of health remaining this time, so a little bit better than last time but uh, Demon with a lot of close calls it's crazy I mean I don't know how you, the players like make these decisions when they're always ending up so close yeah I don't you can't even think when you decide to pull out a shotgun and just go for it you're kind of forced into a corner and um, this is why God can win any game and lose any game if you notice he really likes to go aggressive and it can work out, work out for him but I actually think all three times that he's given that frag away God was the one that was the impressive player in the fight but then demon comes out with something a little bit magical so maybe this is why demon is being playing so well i haven't seen him recently but he seems to have just giant belgian flavored balls um, <laughs> he and, does. and he's you know he's taking these fights and he's hitting the important shots in the last second that's insane like like people, people like other pro gamers as go into another fight as guard takes him down a lot of pro gamers don't use shotgun just because it's such a high risk weapon if you miss a shot you're fucked and um, the demon's hitting him but guard once again gets the frag and it's looking good like i still pick guard to win this matchup is what i'm gonna say and guard there with Actually losing quite a bit of armor there to the LG of Demon, but Demon is, is below with no armor to speak of. The, the red is coming up, so Demon, if he wants to make an attack onto this, it's going to be very difficult, but Guard goes aggressive through the choke point. Yeah. I yeah. don't know if that's good at all. I mean, he had he had the defensive set up there for him, but off the spawn, he gets, gets a really nice spawn to work with and just goes for it. Yeah, and, you know, if Guard keeps going this aggressive, um, Demon's going to have his number, and we might actually see Demon just be really prepared for Guard's kind of playstyle, which could actually put Demon over the edge to win the final map. I know Demon is actually still winning, um, but I would really like Guard to kind of slow it up a little bit. And he's walking now, he's being a little bit sneakier, which is great. Um, but fortunately, he gave away Red and just ate two rockets, so Demon, he does, Demon doesn't have to let him leave this room if he doesn't want to, and, you know, he has left the room, but I think Demon's going to be in good shape for the next fight, so Guard needs to be careful. I don't think he can go this aggressive constantly. One bad rocket and he's stuck. He doesn't have an LG, though. That'd be really useful, but at least he connects that real good angle to and he gets the second as well to get the frag. So that's pretty good. It's relatively clean pick up of that kill as well. And that's 200 armor stack for him now as Mega's up on the spot. Guard is actually in the vicinity though. But he's not always going to make the flat rocket jump. And Demon wow. even connects the rail. That's really brilliant stuff. It's rare that you see people connect, connect it. Red's coming up in 10 seconds. And it's been a very shaky game from some of the moves Guard is pulling off like you've been describing. But uh, it seems like Demon's uh, able to keep keep hold of the situation just enough to stay in the lead for now. There's three and a half minutes left and God's going to pick up that red, which puts him at a very nice stack, very healthy, 100 health, 150 armor. Demon is above on the upper edge of the bridge. Spamming towards the is getting the rocket launcher. Um, he only had four bits of ammo, he's got it. And it's going to situation once again guard gonna actually defend that mega wonderfully not really take much damage at all for his troubles as now what's guard waiting for he didn't go straight to the ref he was actually walking a demon to jump to the yellow 
um, in the mega room. Um, but that's worked out great for God. So Demon has actually lost a lot of his advantage. And I can see the next frag going to God unless we have little magic shots from Demon again. Um, but obviously we got Mega and Red at the same time. This is going to work out hugely oh in favor of God. Demon. That was just ridiculous, just dropping silently behind him like a ninja. Perfect rockets, and here comes the Coke Swain Plasma. It's such a dangerous weapon, and he gets the kill as well. No. Just uh, Demon has done that so many times with the Plasma Gun. He's actually pretty damn good with it. And that just, that's just, that, that is just what this game has been like so far. Just ridiculous situations with the fights. Stuff happening that shouldn't happen. And just jumping into the rocket hits the rail at least but still taking quite a lot of damage, but he's, he's again able to get a little bit of snack going, a little bit of safety, stuff to work with, stuff to at least make some decisions with as he is below now with the railgun on these angles. And then he hits the rail again when Guard makes the flat rocket jump across to pick up that mega to try safely to do so. And with the rocket jump combined with the rail damage, that really puts Guard in a worse spot. And he's down 100 health. armor. Guard has got 100 armor less and he needs to die for the red. Uh, and he's scared to die for it, which is makes sense. I mean, he's going to try and play the two frag difference, and he's going to try and be sneaky, and he drops down behind Demon, does a little bit of damage, but has to run away. And the problem that Guard has, there's only one yellow armor. Demon is going to have position on the next fight. Guard is, and Demon knows where he is. Guard's going to have to take the yellow. Is he going to get out and escape? Yes, he is, but he gets rail gun now, and Demon can win the, f the game from this position. If he just needs to hit a couple more times or get the next red, and he might even just won the game just from being in a good position, that one railgun. Because now Garb has potentially too little time to get two frags. So Demon has to really be on his toes because Garb's going to come at him really strong soon. And there he is, long range. Demon, this is such a good spot to hold all these yep. uh, choke points to deal with. And he can, has all the options. He drops down for the red defense. Guard coming in really hard. Jumps straight at Demon. Oh my god, he pushes him into the corner with the rockets. So damaging, Demon. Let's 16 points of health. And Guard actually going for it. He manages to make the frag happen. And this is only one frag separating the two. 40 seconds remaining in this match. And Guard can make it all happen. He can make this a 2 0 victory and push himself to the finals. Demon has got to be careful. He's got to be scared right now. I don't think he's going to be in this yellow room um, where Guard is. I think he was going to be underneath or around the outside here, but I think it was underneath and going towards the low yellow um, LG. Um, so he's going to have to check everywhere. Oh, there it is. It's above LG on the corner, but oh, that's so good. Oh my god. Tied game with 10 seconds left. Guard makes it happen and he even picks up the red as well. Mega's not for a while, so Guard should really be able to take this without too many problems. This is no weapons, only only the rocket for Demon to work with right now, so he can't really pressure anything uh, effectively on this map. No real LG to speak of just yet. He's got the real now though. And this is a very precarious situation. He's going to whip a rail, and now Guard's coming in close. And Demon hasn't really got enough armor to deal with this. He's going to go down surely to Guard's aggression, but he runs out of shaft ammo. And Guard is going to surely get the kill. There it is. Finally gets it. And Demon just misses every single shot. And that is that could be game right there because we're looking at 160 to, um, to 200 stack for Guard. And Demon just off the spawn. He's going to have to do something incredibly magical. He wants to I want to tell him to go get the railgun, but I think that's really, really risky. Uh, he's actually got the plasma right now, and now he's going to the railgun. This is risky to pick up this rail. Um, the guard knows he's there, and it's going to kill the spike again. And it's good luck this time. He, he's got really good plasma in, I've got to say. Yeah. Yeah. Consistently very strong with that weapon, and guard is looking really, really strong. Much stronger than Demon at this point in time, but he's just charging across that bridge straight into Demon, he knows he's got the stack to just take any kind of inefficient fight and it's going to be a kill for him. So Guard is just not worrying in the slightest and it's 50 seconds left for free frags to happen for Demon. So it's really looking like your prediction is uh, going to come true that we'll see Guard versus Cooler in the final and that's going to be really cool, especially as Guard is uh, I think the last final that Guard made. Um, he actually played against Strengths, if I'm not mistaken, and he got kind of uh, destroyed by Strengths actually, interestingly. And I think it's actually somewhat to do with what you were saying, because Strengths, of course, if you rush into Strengths, his aim is just so, so good. If you make a lot of these plays that Guard is making, it's not going to be that effective if the player can just stand there defensively. So, yep. I mean, called. basically, Demon didn't duel as good as Guard. 
Demon had some really nice moments, but having those moments, I could have those versus Toxic, but doesn't mean I'm going to win. Um, so his consistency in terms of his aim would have to be consistently better than guard for him to kind of uh, win that game. Um, not based off who's a better jeweler uh, overall, but guard was definitely dueling better. He was catching Demon out. He was playing better on the defense and the offense. Obviously, Guard is one of these players which is really risky just because he makes so many aggressive moves that they can backfire very quickly. And if you do one of those moves versus Avec, Cooler, or uh, Cypher, that move could completely lose you the game um, just because you can't give them the option to, to take the advantage. So I'm impressed that he won. I'm, in, you know, I'm impressed with Demon. He's obviously looked like he's got a lot better at dueling since um, I've seen him last. Um, but if he can, his, obviously his high, Demon's high, he didn't hit it today. Yeah. So, you know, the kind of game that he must have bought to beat Strengths and everybody else, you know, not, not today, which is why I felt from DM6 that Guard would still take this map um, and off the start, even though um, Demon was leading. Definitely. I think that's uh, very true words. And, you know, we have now a final with Cooler and uh, Guard, so that's going to be really exciting, I think. I love that. I love that Cooler's really hitting his stride lately. It's really good to see. But uh, he didn't look as strong as he he can, though. That was the scary thing. Like um, I predicted him to win versus Pavel um, in the games I watched him, just because Cooler looked like he was playing a generally safer game to win. Um, and Cooler ended up look like he lost patience. Like there were some attacks on DM13 where Cooler was like attacking in corridors where they both have rocket launcher. And that's a gamble, right? If you're going to walk into a corridor and you both got a rocket launcher, sometimes a hundred armor advantage just doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, it can be nullified. And Cooler was taking those fights. And that was, I don't know if it was disrespectful of his opponent or he just lost um, uh, kind of patience. Because if Cooler was playing versus Rafa, he would not have walked into that situation. Yeah, it's very true. It, it looked like he was really struggling to just read Pavel at all on Blood Run. Um, but by the way, would you are you up for casting the final with me? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, that's fine. I've got nothing else to do. Um, <laughs> well, I actually have lots, but I can multitask. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good stuff. So we are going to go to a quick break, guys. And when we come back, we'll be here with Cooler and Guard for the 24th Sunday Cup uh, final here from Face It. And you don't want to miss this. And of course, you don't want to miss the awesome commentary coming from James also, who's helping me out here because uh, Sturmy had to leave, had to catch a train, and I got left here all alone. So he's coming in to save that me. Bastards. So uh, <laughs> uh, we'll be right back with more quick live action here. And remember to follow us. 